Okay guys, so welcome to Double Brew Day. Today we're gonna do two batches. We're gonna do a chocolate stout, got some nice Belgian chocolate we're gonna put in that guy. And we're also doing a Weizenbach, which is like an amped up Dunkel Hefeweizen, a dark German wheat beer, a really strong one. And so first up, I think we're gonna go ahead and do the Weizenbach first. And we've got all of our ingredients here, all rounded up, all our malt extract we ordered, um, all of our specialty grains for steeping. And I'm going to show you guys where to order it from, where you, know, you can get everything already pre-mixed and milled and sealed up and just ready to go into a grain bag, so it's really convenient. Today we're also going to use a wort chiller for the first time and uh, show you guys how this works to cool down the wort after brewing. So let's get started, get our equipment ready. Okay guys, so again, we're doing a double brew today. And just to mix things up and give you guys a little bit of variety, today we're going to ferment uh, our two different beers in two different vessels. So we're going to use the glass carboy for the German Weizenbach and we're going to use our plastic carboy for the uh, chocolate stout. And we also have a just a sanitation bucket just filled with water uh, that we're going to keep some of our hoses in, our equipment and whatnot to sanitize it before we use it. I like to have cold water in the fermenters as they you know, sanitize while we're brewing just because you know we're going to want to cool these things down as quickly as we can after we're done brewing so it just makes things a little bit easier. And I like pretty warm water, like 110 degrees or so for my sanitation bucket, just because that kind of helps your things with connections, your hoses become more pliable and easier to work with. So we're going to use star sand for our sanitation today. And just about a cap full for five gallons is plenty. This stuff bubbles up and that's perfectly fine. And put in the glass carboy. Okay, so these guys we can swirl up a little bit just to mix the sanitizing solution around. And uh, we're not going to have to deal with our fermenters for a little while until we're actually done to, you know, about ready to put our beer into them. And then we'll slosh the solution here. Now we'll start getting our equipment in here, we'll start putting our hoses, uh, anything that we're going to work with today into our sanitizing bucket. And right now it's time to start steeping our specialty grains for the first beer we're going to make today, which is the Dunkelweizen. <laughs> 